and Shalom. Before I get started with what to say, La Natan, Kahalam La Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem V'chakodash, which means to give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Natan Masana Kabbalah Hazikorim Shai as Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and will well. Shalom, which means peace and love to the lack of Israel and come back again. Do the spirit power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Ha Kodash, on the border Ana from Jimmy Smith's account. And pretty much you're going in on a quick you know, quick lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Hashem on lunch break. So just pretty much going in, you know, woe to the wicked. So, Lord willing, just listen, be edified to. The elect, so I'm going to start with the book of Isaiah 3 and 11, and it reads, Woe unto the wicked, right? Woe unto the wicked. The word woe means destruction. So destruction unto the wicked. We know who is the wicked is according to the Bible. But let's get it for edification, Malachi 1 and 4. If we can read into it, you know what? Let's read into it. Malachi 1 and 1, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, What end hast thou loved us? Was not Esau, Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, Yet I love Jacob. So the most I love Jacob, which is Yashala. Ju Judah all the way down to Issachar, the so called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native, Native American Indians. So Jacob, Israel, the Israelites, the most I chose people, he loved Jacob, Israel. So what about Esau? Verse 3, Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau. There you have it. The Most High, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, hate Esau. And you read this same, <laughs> said the same thing in the New Testament, Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 13. Romans 9 to 13. So Malachi 1 to 3. And I hated Esau, and I laid his mountains and inheritance, waits for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, We are in poverty, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They should build, but I will throw down, and they should call them the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness. So the wicked is who? Edom. Esau Edom. The so called white man. Right? The border of wickedness. The foundation of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have in the nation forever. So the most I hate. Esau, and they are the wicked according to the Bible. So what? Isaiah 3 and 11. Woe unto the wicked. Wait. Woe unto the wicked, man. And it should be ill with him, for the reward of his hands should be given him. So let's read this in the NLT. But the wicked are doomed. Right. The wicked are doomed. They are reserved unto punishment. As the scripture says, Psalm, you know, that's Proverbs. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord had made all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, right? For the day of destruction, the day of disaster, right? So the wicked are doomed. No hope for the wicked. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not that statue. So the book of Psalms 119 and 155. So warn to the wicked, man. Going back to Isaiah 3 and 11. In the NLT, but the wicked are doomed, for they will get exactly what they deserve. Right, exactly what they deserve. Why? Because they sow wickedness, plow wickedness in the earth. Let's get Job 4 and 8. It said, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. And this is Esau Edom. Throughout the whole earth, right? Nothing but wickedness. That's why 1 John 5. Let's just read it. Let the scriptures do the talking, right? First John 5 and 19. And we know that we are of the Most High. And the whole world lie in wickedness, right? NLT, First John 5 and 19. We know that we are children of the Most High and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one, right? Under the control of the evil one, the wicked. Why is that? Because of Job... 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the key word is what? Given into the hands of the wicked. Given, man. 
So who ruling the earth right now? Who controlling the earth right now? The world right now? The wicked. Which is who? Esau Edom. Right? He covered the faces of the judges of the earth. If not, well, and who is he? Right? He covered the chief judge, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And made him have blonde hair and blue eyes, man. So he going to be judged. He going to get what he deserves, which is what? Fire. Nuclear fire. Annihilation. Destruction, man. That's death. So, warn to him, man. <laughs> so let's go back to, let's read Job 4 and 8 one more time, man. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sell wickedness weep the same. That's why the scripture said what? The most I has not mark. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, the most I is not mocked, for whatsoever man sow it, that shall he also weep. So he so eat them. You're gonna get what, what you deserve, man. And also, to our people, the Israelites, Judah right down in Issachar, y'all are wicked as hell too. The most I about to come back and judge y'all as well with the wicked, man. Because hand on the hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. You are took after the customs of the society, man. You refuse to repent and come back to your true power. So, therefore, you're going to get the same fate as Esau, man. Not the scripture saying, um, Jeremiah, um, 5 and 26. Let's get it. For among my people are found wicked men. So, we have some wicked-ass niggas in, in, in Israel, false um, prophets, right? What's the uh, first Maccabees? Let me see some. Let's, let me go to first Maccabees real quick. First Maccabees, uh, yeah, First Maccabees one and eleven. In those days, went that out of Israel, wicked men. So it's wicked men in Israel, man. You see, degenerate GMO babies, man, niggers, right? The nigger woman and niggers, they gotta go, rightfully so. In those days, went that out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. So guess what? So they took out the, the customs of the heathen and learned they works. Right? They sold out, bent over, took the bag, you celebrities. So y'all going to be judged as well. So warn to you as well. All you wicked sinners. What does it say? Amos 9 and 10. Let's get it, man. Amos 9 to 10. <clears throat> it reads, All the sinners of my people should die by the sword. Right, and that sword is twofold, man. And, and we know <laughs> the sword is the wicked. Psalm 17 to 13. Esau Edom coming down with great wrath, the devil, because he know he had but a short time. And what else? The, the other sword, the nuclear missiles, right? So all the sinners of my people should die by the sword, which say the evil should not overtake nor prevent us, man. So you wicked Israelites, going back to Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snare, they set a trap, they catch man, so the wicked. They go to Psalm 7. Then I'll probably get on Esau ass, but all praise to Yahweh Shemar Shah. Psalm 7. Let's start at 11. The most high judges the righteous, and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. Why right? he's angry with the wicked every day. And most importantly, the wicked of, of, of his people, his sons and his daughters. You Israelites, you so called Negroes, Black, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Because y'all refuse to hearken to his word, his voice. Y'all despise his word. And we know the penalty of that, Proverbs 13 and 13. So he's angry with you, man, because. What does Christian say? Is it not for you to know judgment? <laughs> right? So verse 12. If if he turned not, he would wet his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. And this going to the ministers. And the NOT say, well, if a person, Psalm 7, 12, NOT, if a person, and we know only a person, and that person can be an Israelite only, right? Because they're the only one that can repent. We have the law of the commandments. Right? Psalms 147, 19 and 20, Psalms 785. So if a person does not repent, the most I will sharpen his sword, he will bend his, he will bend and string his bow, 
He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. So this is to all the sinners, all the ones that refuse to repent. Those deadly arrows, those deadly weapons, flaming arrows is for you. Why? Because y'all wicked as hell. It's a warning to you. The Lord said he's coming out of his place, Isaiah 13. And, uh, and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and their wicked for their iniquity, right? For their sins. You see? He will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. It will lay low the heartiness of the terrible. Exactly, man. The Messiah, Yahweh, and Messiah is coming back to lay the land. Let's jump up to verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord coming, cool, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. There you have it. What land? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, desolate. You see? About nuclear fire, man. And he should destroy the sinners that were out of it, right? All the sinners, man. We know I know repentance for Esau. So all you wicked-ass Israelites, y'all going to have the same judgment Esau, man. I two thirds. Zechariah, uh, what's that? Zechariah 13 and 8, which is what future prophecy. Lord willing, I'm not part of that number, that group, right? 66.6, right? Zechariah 13 and 8, and, he, and it shall come to pass, right? And it shall come to pass, future prophecy, that in all the land said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're going to be cut off and die here in Babylon, the great America, man. You see? And nothing you can do about it. N no praying for the wicked, man. <laughs> the Lord said, uh, Jeremiah eleven fourteen, pray not for these people. It said, uh, two parts therein should be cut off and die, but the third should be left away. And I bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. And they should call on my name and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. And they should say, the Lord is my power. Uh, it's like, and the Lord is my power. And it's speaking about the one third, the elect, the women. You see, the women that lower on a part of that number, that salvation number right there, the hopeful elect, the elect, you no, know, right? But warned to the wicked, man. And that's that, you know. So lower in this lesson was out of five, you know. You know what? I ended with Malachi 4 and 1. This is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day coming that your bunt is an oven, right? It's an oven. Not the modern day oven, nah, man. <laughs> It's saying all the proud, yeah, and all they do wickedly, right? All the proud, man. In this society, this evil world taught you how to, uh, taught you to be proud as hell, man. You see? And we know pride, Sawak 10. <laughs> Let's just get it. Sawak 10. Let's see. Sawak 10 and 7. I can jump around in this jump. Sawak 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the most high end, man. And by both the one commit iniquity, man. So, right, and they say, jump down to verse 12, like Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. For pride is the beginning of sin. We know the wages of sin is what? Death. So, pride leads to death. And he that had it should pour out abomination when you start teaching false doctrine. You start doing what you want to do because, hey, you don't believe in the Most High. You don't feel the Most High no more. We know feels what? It's the first step to be accepted of him, man. But you get that pride, you start feeling. You start transgressing the most high laws, being disobedient. Why you start believing, man? You start watching. That's pride for you, man. It said, For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that had it should pour out abomination, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly, right? Completely, man. So you don't want to be proud, right? I want to say in this same book, it said, give me not a proud uh, look, <laughs> right? So, verse 18, pride was not made for man, nor feels anger for them that are born of a woman. Right, we are born of a woman. No need to be proud. In the same book, it said, well, it's up and ashes proud. No need to be proud, man. We're just mortals, man. Our righteousness is of filthy wax, man. Right, we all worried of the punishment thereof, man. Another one just came to my spirit, or oh, the second edge of... Um, no, second is eight and fifty, I believe. Then I'm gonna go back to Malachi. Second is eight and fifty for many great miseries, great miseries, man. Boy, it says should be done to them that in the latter time or the end time, right? For many great miseries should be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. 
Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven, and all, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that coming shall burn them up. They're going to burn you up. All the proud, all they do wickedly. Going to burn you up. And the day that coming shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, they shall leave them neither root nor branch. So, Lord willing, you know, Yahweh Shaman Shah, watch this out this lesson. What's edifying to the let? Just going in on that. I guess I just name it, uh, Woe to the Wicked. So, once again, give our praises to Yahweh by Shem. Yahweh Shah by Shem. We have Kodash, the bonus to the apostles, and add us a great millstone. Who teach and will wear peace and love to the let. With that, Shalom, Kramash Allah, Wabba.